Welcome back. It is a windy fall day out here at the cabin. It is finally time to get going. I'm finishing this firewood shack and getting the roof complete. Got the quad loaded up and ready to go. So let's go cruise down the trail, find ourselves some trees and get to cutting. So this is kind of what I'm looking for here. Looking for trees that have been uprooted, not rotten, but that have been blown over by the wind, uprooted, and that are up off the ground. These trees look like they've been here for a while, so they should be good and dry. We'll do some test cuts and make sure that the wood isn't rotten. This tree here is a big one. Should be able to get quite a few boards out of it. And that one up on top too. Should be pretty good. So I'm going to start with this tree that's laying across on top of all the others. Might as well work my way from the top down. I'm going to start at the base of the tree here. These could get a little bit sketchy to cut because they do have a lot of tension throughout the log. This one here is leaning over top of all those other dead ones so this butt end is going to want to kick up plus this root ball might lay down and then it looks like it's hung up in some trees at the top there so it might even try and kick out a bit towards you guys but I'll do my best I'll cut nice and slow watch what the woods doing and try to do this as safely as possible but we'll start here Let's see how it goes Look at that wood. That is bone dry. No moisture in it whatsoever. Good solid wood, no rot. Nice and dead. It's got a little bit of a weird shape to it, but I think I'll be able to get my boards to rip this way. We'll be able to get quite a few off of here. These boards need to be cut at 12 feet. I finally got myself a log PV so I can actually move these logs around to get them positioned the way I want prior to milling. I'm real happy to have gotten two 12 foot sections out of this one tree. It'll end up being, I'm hoping at least eight boards, which should get me about halfway to where I need to be. I've had quite a few people ask about why I don't just use a chalk line instead of a piece of rope to mark my lines. Really the truth of it is that a chalk line wouldn't show up all too well on this rough bark. After I do a rip and then I have a clean surface, a chalk line would work probably a lot better than the rope. But for this rough bark, the rope is about as good as it gets I think and you can still get a pretty good accurate line.
got a real nice straight starting cut. Now I can just mark off where I want my board thickness to be and then make my cut. Just keep cutting my boards off. Hopefully be able to get one, two, three, four, maybe even five out of this one log. So I'm making three quarter inch boards when I measure out my thickness, I have to take into account the thickness of my chain. So past my three quarters of an inch, the thickness that I want, I just give myself an extra three eighths. So I go one, two, three eighths right there. And that's where I tie my rope off to. And that way, I'll have a nice three quarter inch board when I'm done. That's our first board. Turned out not too bad. Tapered a little bit out on the bottom side, but actually mostly only towards this end. So minor correction to make in the next cut, but this board is still gonna work good for us. Wow. I am happy with that. Now I just gotta make many, many more, just like this. <laughs> Six boards out of one log. That is not too bad. They're looking good. I'm pretty pleased with them. The rest of this log here, it's uh, it's only about 11 inches in width at that end. So my criteria was to stick to 12 inches or greater. So the rest of this log, I'm just gonna buck it up, split it, burn it. We need to get firewood after we get this roof on. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, and another one over there. So that's seven dead standing trees. And I'm just down the trail from the cabin. So this is a nice little spot. We're getting all our boards from here. We're gonna be able to get a ton of firewood, probably fill that shed right up. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get repositioned here. Get going on this next log.
that is a pretty good looking stack of wood real happy with how these boards are turning out I wasn't too sure how well a three-quarter inch board would turn out when it's 12 feet long getting quite a mix of weather today wind had sunshine for a bit now the clouds rolled in it's been raining on and off more wind so getting it all today but at least it's nice and cool the mosquitoes haven't been bugging me so I'm real happy about that and it's just a nice cool temperature to be working outside in so I think I'm gonna load up these boards take them back to the cabin it'll give me a rough idea as to how many more I need to make this is a rather time-consuming process so I don't want to be overdoing it and making more boards than I actually need so I'll go and figure out how many more I need and then we'll get right back to cutting Well, this is not ideal. Now my quad won't start. So, believe it or not, this is not the first time this has happened where this quad has died and left me stranded. It's not even the second time, actually. This is time number three. Both times prior to this, it's been a timing chain issue. I'm just gonna take the spark plug out and check for compression. I guess test the spark plug too, make sure there's spark. Yeah, there's spark. So we got spark, we got compression. Maybe we don't have fuel? Still got lots of gas in there. <coughs> Unless there's something blocking it. Oh geez, hey. Get an old Honda, they said. It'll last you forever, they said. It's not a fuel issue. Fuel's going through. Phew, I got her going. Not too sure what's wrong with her. She doesn't sound very good. Hoping it'll at least get me back to the cabin. Might have to pack up and get out of here, get home. Ay ay ay. Well, not too sure what happened to it. I shut it off at the cabin, started it back up, started perfectly fine, and now it's running perfectly normal again. So, uh, I'm not too sure what happened. But anyways, back at the cabin, I got the boards measured out, and I think I'm only going to need about three more, but I'm probably going to cut four more boards, because one of the ones I cut earlier was not that great, not up to standard. <laughs> so we'll get this out of the way, and then we're going to cut out 12 foot section from this big old log. Hopefully the wood's good and sound. We can roll it out over to here, cut out four planks, and then I will finally be done ripping out these boards. Man, oh man, this has been a chore. Yeah. 
Just like that, we got some sunshine again. This is a good tree. This is some really good wood. Could easily use this as firewood. Might have to come back and get the rest of this tree. This log PV, total game changer. That is the last board that I need. That one turned out pretty good. Got the other three right here. That was a lot of work. Finished up just in time. The sun's starting to set and it looks like got some dark clouds rolling in too so might be in for more rain this evening. For now though I'm gonna get these boards loaded up onto the quad. Get them taken back to the cabin. Hopefully the quad starts and then tomorrow praying for dry weather and then I can get the roof up and finally get that firewood shack complete. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to tune in for the next one where we actually finish the firewood shack. <sighs> it's been a good day. A lot of work, but it's been a good day. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, God bless and stay wild.